So welcome to the project demonstration of retrofitting of existing vehicle for electrical vehicle. So retrofitting nothing but existing vehicle be manufactured into the electrical vehicle with the help of BLDC motors. So here we are using 1000 watt BLDC motor with 48 volts operated and we are providing 48 volts with 14 amps of current we are providing and uh, that was given to the microcontroller the BLDC driver. So in this we have the mainly uh, three inputs one is throttle so there is pedal throttle we are providing and another is reverse switch so here we can see that so this is the reverse 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 matches the vehicle will move in reverse direction and is a forward direction and another input is like key so this is the main on off switch key so on and so off so it's on off purpose for the total ignition system and directly through this crocodile pins we are going to attach this battery input to the our microcontroller so driver so from here totally we are providing the uh, eight wires. So in that, three wires are like blue, green, and yellow are the three phases for the BLDC motor. And remaining five wires consist of three all effect sensors for each phase. And remaining red and black is going to be the power supply uh, pins for the all effect sensors. So there we have uh, used the BLDC motor connected into the universal shaft gear, the so differential gear shaft through the universal shaft. So there we can see the universal shaft is connected to the BLDC motor through the helical gear. The helical gear ratio is going to be our uh, BLDC motor shaft gear is 25 uh, teeth and we use the 250 teeth for the bigger gear, that's a helical gear mechanism. And uh, directly from here to the BLDC, like a uh, motor, to the helical gear, to the universal joint and differential gear. So the transmission is occurring like BLDC motor to the helical gear, helical gear to universal joint and from there to the differential gear that is attached to the back wheels and here we are using the oil braking system right so the battery is charging with the help of solar panels so we are connected 12 volts solar panels are in a series with four uh, four panels so that we will get 48 volts of 20 watts of power so directly given through this charging circuit to the battery and also battery can be recharged from the 230 volts input so we need to connect that to the 230 volts input and then so when it's connected we can see there is a red LED indication as the battery is charging when it's turned into the green LED then the battery is fully charged right so now let us see the demonstration So let me explain you clearly about the connections from the motor to the BLDC motor driver. So we are providing 48 volts power supply to the BLDC motor driver. So here the crocodile pins directly we need to connect this red to the red. Here the red we see can see and black to the black. So after connection made 
so this is reverse and forward direction purpose and ignition on off so now it is we can see over there so this is on and off anti clockwise off clockwise on and this will be the char charging section from the solar panel so there we can see the wire consists of the wire, wire bunch consists of yeah, totally eight wires in that three phase yellow blue green are same phases attached to the microcontroller from the motor and these five wires are consist of plus minus red and black is going to be the minus plus power supply for the hall effect sensors inside the bldc motor and remaining are same each phase consists of each phase power supply wire and each phase all effect sensor wire connection uh, connection made and remaining all are, are the like lighting purpose and uh, uh, like uh, lcd display purpose and headlight purpose remaining all connected one so these are the main connections we made so this is the 1000 watts uh, bldc motor driver directly can handle up to 800 kg of minimum torque so by increasing the gear ratio so we have explained clearly that 25 gear ratio to 250 gear ratio that is we are increasing the 1 is to 10 uh, sorry 10 is to 1 10 rotations from the motor 1 rotations for the universal joint and from there to the differential gear from there to the rear wheels directly attached so there we have increased the 5 times of the torque by uh, reducing the